Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. Uh, <clears throat> made a uh, church. church. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> Jesus made wine. Mm -hmm, mm. Uh, uh, welcome, congregation. Uh, we got uh, uh, a word from God today. He's given us uh, Pastor John Gray. John Gray, could you please come to the pulpit? John Gray. Uh, why he got on his thigh clothes today? Why he got on his thigh clothes? He got on the day. He's like, what's up, Joshua? What's up? What's up? What's up? I, I listen, I know there's people watching this shit. But listen, um, all right, why no? So I've had uh whoo, the church. Church people been calling. They say, Tasha, please don't run this story. I know the pastor got a hot dick. That's what they said. I, I swear to God. I swear to God. They said, we know we got a hot dick, but please let God do this. Let God. I said, no, 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 no. I said, a friend of mine told me, he watching tonight. He said that God anointed bloggers to do the Lord's work. I said, what you mean by that? He said, because when these pastors out here fucking... We are going to be reporting on the fucking up. <laughs> now, and for, you know, if it was the first time, I wouldn't be so happy. But this is the second time. And listen, I know this is going to be hard on his wife. Don't y'all be dragging his wife, okay? This is not her, this is not her dick anymore, okay? He is... He tell the bitches that he getting a divorce, okay? Now, um, I had a young lady. Well, she's not young. She's about 45. Did I just burp on camera? I just damn burp. I had a young lady contact me some weeks ago uh, about Pastor John Gray, and I was shocked because he has been in this situation before. The last time he has bought his wife a Lamborghini, went on the reel, told the reel that he did not sleep with that woman, although we have other receipts that say so, that he did more than sleeping. He didn't sleep with her. He just ate a pussy all night. That's what I heard. Um... The last woman, okay? But we, we got somebody to get details on that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the, uh, the phone call that I had with this young lady, and then um, we're going to get right into business with our special guest, okay? So here is Pastor John, uh, uh, John Gray's, uh, not alleged, his, uh, uh, what is this, soon-to-be side chick? I mean, she was he was sending her money and shit, and she was sending tenant pictures, and he was, yeah, yeah, his sugar baby, okay? Go ahead and put the video on the screen. Oh, no, you good. Now tell, okay, now tell me how y'all met. Like, when and where did y'all meet and what month? I'm from New Jersey. I live in Houston, but my brother is in New Jersey. He's a pastor, and him and John Gray known each other since they were youth pastors. What? So, uh, yeah, my brother. <laughs> so, John Gray didn't know I existed until, um, so my brother's wife passed this April, um, and he had, his, had her memorial on Facebook. And John Gray was speaking. He was one of the speakers. And I was like, oh, I didn't know. Because I've been following John Gray on Instagram for years. You know, I never bothered him or anything. And so I was like, oh. And, and to the point where they were still kind of close to where he calls my brother's daughter, my niece, his niece. And so I went on his Instagram. And he had just posted a picture of his wife. I said, well, if he just posted this picture, let me just say what I have. You know, what I, I just said, I told him, I said, Thanks for the kind words that you said about my brother, to my brother about his wife. That was very nice. Now, how so, old are you? Because you sound young. I sound young. No, I'm 48. Actually. Girl, no way. <laughs> Yeah. Girl, I thought you was like 22. Everybody, do everybody yeah. think you like, you sound that young? No, I know. And I look young too. It's crazy. But yeah, no, I'm 48. I just turned 48. Okay. I'm just nervous. I'm nervous. But okay, so... I um, sent him a video. I mean, I sent him the text, the message saying, thank you for what the kind words that you said about my brother's wife. That was, you know, it was very nice or whatever. So then the picture got deleted. And then when I was talking to him a couple of weeks ago, I said, he said, he said, who do you think deleted the picture? And I was like, oh, he said, because I called, he said, I responded. I said, oh, I didn't even see the response. And then I guess he talked to my brother and then he requested me on Instagram and I've never bothered him. He and he he sent me a message saying asking me how my brother was doing. I said he good. His daughter's holding him down. He's doing all right. And you know he'll like a few of my posts on Instagram. And then um, about 
I would say a month ago, he asked me where I work at. I'm a hairstylist here in Houston. So I didn't think nothing of it. I didn't give him my address or anything. I just told him the name and where it was located in Houston. Because I guess he just had a birthday in the end of June. He said, you know, you could have did a lot of heads. Like, he had family and stuff. I could have, his wife or whatever, I could have did their hair. I was like, oh, that's what's up. So, like, a couple days after that, I told him where I worked at. He called my dog. What? And I answered the phone. I'm, I'm the manager at the hair salon, and I answered the phone. And he said, hey, Mary, it's Don Gray. I said, no, it's not. I, he said, yeah, how you doing? I was like, what? I said, I said, okay, I told you where I work, but you just de- decided on yourself to look up the phone number and call my job? Yeah, so, and that's how we started talking. I told him, because I was busy at the salon. He said, you can't really talk now. I said, no, can you, what's is wrong on my part? I said, can you take my personal number now? Because, you know, I just felt, you know, he, you know, him and my brother were cool. They've known each other for a long time or whatever. So he said, yeah, he took my number down. And then five minutes later, he called me back. And he was like, um, I want to do something big for your brother. I said, okay, that's cool. What's, what's up? You know, because I'm busy. And he said, oh, I'm just to let you know, I don't do social media. I said, oh, okay, I got his game. He, he got my number now. He don't do social media. I was like, wow. So that's how we started talking for the past couple of months. And yeah, so. Now, has yeah. he ever made any like sexual passes towards you or anything? Um, uh, well, when he came up last week, it was, well, he, he, he said, cause he was asking me, you know, through text and stuff, what size of, you know, about my breast. He said he liked areolas and how big are yours and. Um, when he saw me in person, he said, you don't look like you're a triple D. And he was like, prove it. I'm like, how am I going to prove that? I'm not going to pull out my breast in my workplace, outside my workplace. And, you know, he was, um, I guess he was in Alabama where his wife is from. Cause he told me he was getting a divorce. And, um, he said he was at the hotel. He, um, sent me a, um, he, he FaceTimed me. And he was laying, I guess, in the bed, and he was showing me his underwear. He on his white shirt. I was like, "Oh my God, what are you doing?" And yeah, and girl, did you get that screenshot? Please tell me you got that screenshot of that man in his drawers. No, because I'm not. I was just like so shocked by it all. I wasn't, to be honest, I'm not on that trip with him. And I think he sees, he noticed. That's why he stopped talking to me. That. You know, okay, she's not moved by what I got and all this other stuff. And because I, because the reason why he invited me to his house, I'm sure he thought I could have sex with her. And there's no way I'm going to be in his house alone with him. There's right. no way. Okay. So, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, you know, just having fun. I screenshot him, boob shot. I mean, you don't know whose boob it is. You can't see my face. He don't even know whose boob it is, but he was like, oh, I want to see more and more. He said, oh my God, those are nice. You'll see the text messages. Okay. And stuff, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. But Girl! He's, he's, not, <laughs> he's not like, he's just, and his wife is so silly. You know, she's just, I go so hard for my husband. I'm like, he keeps doing this to you. Do you, what, what will make you what will make you believe that, you know, he's not what he is? Does somebody have to have sex with him in front of you, you know, to, for you to open up your eyes to see he is not, he don't love you. He don't want to be with you. Silly, you know silly I mean? woman. So, silly, silly. Yeah. Some women like to be silly, though. Yeah, I don't know. She real. I mean, I didn't know she was 38. She looked older than that. I was like, oh, wow. Mm. She, she looks older than me. I'm 48. And there ain't no, there ain't no way his wife is 38. That's a lie. No. Yeah, no. no. They said, no, he said she's 38. Yeah. She, yeah, he said that. He said, you know, they age different. Yeah, they're like eight, ten years different. Yeah. Mm. So, mm-hmm. yeah, but he's just, and, you know, he's just going to continue to do this to different women. But he's not used to what I gave him. He thought... Oh, I'm gonna impress her with all this stuff I have and invite her. I was like, for you to invite me to your home that you have here in Houston, that was kinda like I said, No, make your flight. I'm not gonna go. 
So, and his whole demeanor really changed from the plane. I said, you're okay. He really, like, he was, like, upset about it because I guess that was his agenda, even though he said he had a business deal. Um, that's why he came to Houston. But I really think he thought that I would really actually go to his house with them, and I don't know. He was and like, the, devil, the devil said, you's a liar, bitch. You's a liar. <laughs> I am so no. glad you didn't fall for that shit, girl. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 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 no, absolutely not. I mean, when he bought his wife that car to say, I'm sorry, I said, him and T.I. must be friends. <laughs> Every time they cheat, they buy their wives' cars. Every time. Uh -huh. Offset does the same thing, too. Cardi B's her. Every time she cheat on her, he buy her a car. I said, is this the, is this the cheat game? Right. See, I enjoy oral sex. But to be honest, some of my experiences have been not pleasing due to lack of proper vaginal hygiene. I went down on this chick once and the yoni was so good and fresh. It took me on like a whole nother level of just pleasure. So at that moment, I had to stop and ask, what are you using? And she told me, embrace Pangea Feminine Wash. We all know that a fresh yoni brings on a whole new level of confidence. So visit EmbracePangea.com. And of course, I got my winos covered for a discount. So use the coupon code Tasha K for 10% off your first order. Reverse! Reverse! Y'all remember that damn song? Don't y'all laugh at me? Why knows? But for real, listen close and listen carefully. The olive leaf extract can reverse high blood pressure and diabetic high blood sugar, or the sugar, as some of our grandmamas may call it. It can also kill any nasty little bugs in your bodies like parasites, bacteria, fungi, tumors, and much, much more. And if that's not enough, you can also tell certain cancers like breast, prostate, colon, liver, and skin cancer to take a seat because the olive leaf extract has been known to fight it. And their friend lupus can get it too, okay? So I need my winos to be in good health because we have some good dragging to do. So visit myoliveleaf.biz to help get your health in order. <laughs> I cannot stand y'all. I'm in the comments and y'all going off top. Y'all call her a 40 year old skis a day. <laughs> but listen, all the receipts are going on Instagram. But first, okay, because we got some shit we got to talk about. Now, I want to tell you um, the day that she's talking about that he came, like, I guess, came up to her job, he showed up in his wife's Porsche, okay? Um, he's, uh, we have screen, sh uh, videos, like videos of like a screen share of them talking, I'm not going to reveal her identity because she is the sister of a pastor who's his best friend. Okay. So this goes deep. Wifey already knows what's going on. So don't y'all be like, oh, you know, a tag on Instagram. This ain't her dick to carry no more. Okay. This is community dick at this point. Okay. Pastor John Gray wants his pain to be for the community. Mm-hmm. He wants it to be ushered around and passed using the collection plate, okay? And uh, not only that, like, he's giving her money. And this one particular day uh, when his wife went out of town and he says, oh, when she was like, oh, you know, I'm getting, uh, he told her she was, he was getting a divorce, a divorce and everything. The wife went out of town for one day, okay? He was at home in his seven-bedroom house and was literally trying to get her hot tail ass over there to get some dick, okay? He was trying to get her to pick up the stomach so he could put it in. But we got a special guest. <laughs> Who's got a little bit more information and who is pretty close to this family, okay? Uh, where is, let's, let's call, uh, uh, Pastor, and he's a pastor himself, okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why the Bluetooth ain't on? What the hell? Oh, shit. So I just turned on the Bluetooth. Okay, can we hear? Pastor Larry Reed? Hey, what's up, Tosh? Okay, you got to talk a little louder now, Pastor, like you preach to the congregation, you, okay? We got 19, yes, we got 19 uh, 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 church members in, in the chat. 19,000. 19,000, okay? And and Pastor John, you know he got his thug suit on. You see him? Pastor John? <laughs> yeah, I saw him. <laughs> so listen, all right, now the reason I asked you uh, uh, to come on to this segment is because you were responsible for really busting him out the first time, okay, with the woman that he claimed he never slept with, but, you know, he bought wifey a Lamborghini and, you know, some other shit just to make up, you know, and you know a little bit more about, you know, his ways. And so I first want to ask you, did you listen to the audio? 
Yeah, I listened to the audio. I, I heard what she said, and oh. she actually said her name, so that ain't on you. Oh shit! I I forgot to delete that out. <laughs> but, <laughs> but she is okay. Uh, we can put it out there, okay? Because I I didn't you know really you know make no promises or anything like that. But she is the sister to uh, his best friend Eric. Is it Brewer? Yes, Brewer. Brewer. Okay, and you know mm-hmm. Eric Brewer, don't you? Yeah, just from doing, you know, I mean, I I was pastoring for 20 years before I got into entertainment. So I I have to know who's who. And I definitely know exactly who he is. Okay, okay, perfect. Can the winos hear him pretty good? Okay, all right, cool. Now, um, after hearing the story, what what do you think? Well, it's, it's a repeat. And I just really feel bad for his wife. I call her the Avenger because she, like, really intuitive. Really so you fr- you friends with his wife? Well, I I feel for the wife. Okay. I, I, I've always had a concern as it relates to the wife. Okay. You know, so I've always like spoke positive of her. Cause even when he went to go sit down with Trump, she was the one that said, "Don't go sit down with Trump." Mm. It started then, cause that's mm. really when I started getting into the story. And then when he bought her the Lamborghini after eight years of marriage, I was like, "Hold on." No dude does that for an eight-year anniversary. What has he done? Mm. And so I did a story on that first, speculating that there was a woman. Mm. Well, what I didn't know is that a month or two prior to me saying that, that they had actually, and from their pulpit, basically explained that there was some woman that John was talking to. The wife said this, that there was some woman that was talking to John and really talking to the 16-year-old John who never could get attention from girls. Mm. So when so I went back live later on and talked about that. That was a hell of an excuse. I like the way she she laid that out. She said her husband was having an affair as a grown man, but with his 16-year-old self. Yeah, that's what well, she said. Well, they, they are clever as hell with these words. I got to tell you, they need to, <laughs> God, they need to write a dictionary. Shit. Uh, yeah, so, so okay. while I'm doing that story, I'm getting inbox. I'm okay. like, who is this? Who is this cinema this? So the, late, the girl actually reached out to you, the woman. Yeah, it was her friend that reached out to me because she, what began to happen is the friend began to tell me, no, it, you're right, you're exactly right, but my friend don't want to talk. So okay. all the time passed after that. And what John began to do is to go on all of these big outlets. It would be 105. Okay. 103. He went on sister, sister. He began to talk about how his wife has covered him and really raised him up to be a grown man as, okay. as, the, as the wife. I'm like, yeah, that don't make no sense. And he was basically trying to cover himself for all the different stuff that had been said that was that would begin to come out and i by this time i'm saying no there is a woman she's not talking but there is a woman now i had already interviewed this girl I okay have like two hours of audio i still have not released but oh I wow can you will you want do you want to release it if you don't we got a platform that would love to hear it <laughs> you know the winos we we would love to go to church yeah, I still got it. I okay. haven't got rid of anything. Okay. I, but see, I always liked John, so I wasn't like trying to like put it out there like that. But he kept right on lying. He, I mean, to everywhere he went, and then he had his wife believing that he wasn't having a sexual, any kind of sexual relationship with this girl. Well, when he started doing that, then the girl wanted to talk to me direct, direct, um, di- directly on air. She wanted mm. to do an interview, so I, I changed the voice. I put it out. Okay, it got added on the nineteenth of January, two thousand and nineteen, and she was ready for me to put put that out. But our original conversation, I had recorded that anyway. But I okay. didn't put that out, you know. So I ended up having to go ahead and tell the whole story because he just kept lying, and behind the scene was telling everybody that I was lying, that I was just trying to d- destroy him, and his wife was going around saying. You know, he didn't sleep with her, but it's a conversation. And I knew he was lying to her. So it's really my feelings as it relates to the wife that really made me just put the audio out, release the voicemails where he left voicemails saying, you know, that uh, my wife has discovered our relationship, delete all of the, the messages. She even know that I had you in the hotel with us while we're here in Atlanta. So it... it all of that I just had to put out. But this is the same thing. He told mm-hmm. her that he was going to divorce the um, his wife. So he, he told the, the chick that you exposed, 
Yeah. The same thing he just told his best friend's sister that he yeah. was going to divorce his wife. And the same thing he told the chick that he was in the hotel with at the Stella Awards. Now, he I done- heard that he got the chick a hotel like in the same hotel as his wife. So when his wife went to sleep, he went down stairs to the hotel to meet that woman. Exactly. But That's he true. said he ain't never sleep with her. That's what he said. But, but that ain't what she said. Now, what did she say exactly? Did they sleep together? The You know, the first woman that he cheated with, did they sleep together? She said that they had a sexual relationship and she described the um, different FaceTimes of them prior to being at the hotel. She described being on the um, FaceTime and having cyber sex with him. He would masturbate while she's doing certain things. So she described all of that. That's in the audio. Is he packing? Is the pastor packing? I, 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 don't, I don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. You <laughs> said she described. I want to know what John Gray working with. He buying Lamborghinis and shit. <laughs> shit, I may have to get me a side pastor. You understand? <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he got her a BMW. He bought the side chick a BMW? Yeah, he uh, paid it off for her. I think she had just she um she went and got it, and he paid it off for something like that. Or either he bought the cash, but I know she said that he got me a BMW. Now I heard he loved to eat pussy. Is that true? Yeah, that's what they say. That's Child, what, um, that's what. Look said. at them lips. Look at them lips. <laughs> he looked like he just ready. Like, come over here, let me smell it. Yeah, but see, the thing is, this dog. What what really is disturbing about it? Okay. Um, because um, Pastor, I'm sorry. Am I am I offending you, Pastor? Because I know you are a pastor of 20 years. This is Larry Reed Live. Y'all can find him on YouTube, Instagram. <laughs> He's a pastor for 20 years. No scandals. No, no. Listen to this. Okay. I pastored for 20 years. Okay. But now I'm I'm 100 doing. I mean, people still look at me as their pastor, and I still minister to people, but not from a church anymore i do it differently online okay but let me say but let me say this though what is disturbing about it is i feel like he had an opportunity to really tell his wife the truth i felt like he just continued con- continually lied to his wife with the first girl and the girl at the stella award i just think that he is really continuing to put his family and his wife including his church through the same ordeal over and over and that's just the sad thing about it. I mean, because now his wife got to deal with this again. Shit. Now, listen, I, I, you know, I am not trying to, like, put any stress on her. Now, if it was the first time, because I heard she was going through a lot. You know, I had some people, you know, that claimed to be a part of her team that reached out to me uh, trying to kill the story and, you know, basically saying, listen, he got, a, he got a hot dick, but don't do this to his wife. I'm like, I'm not doing nothing to his wife. He doing this shit to his wife. What the fuck I got? I, I'm not doing this. Excuse me, Pastor, for cussing in front of you. I'm sorry. Yes, I, but, Pray but for me know, after the show. But you know that. But you know that's what they. That's what they say to me. Because see, I only do a story after it comes out. You have to already be. The story has to already be going on. And so when I started doing the story, I got the same calls, the technical difficulties you've had on your live tonight. That's the church people reporting your live over and over, hundreds and probably thousands of people. So I know exactly. Because I was like, about. why is the live like glitching? It's never done that before. Yeah, so they I was mean, reporting yeah. my life? Yeah, that's what was happening. They were Probably praying that see the- see how to see how the devil try to come after you and God. <laughs> God made sure that this story went out tonight. You see me, John yeah. Gray. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I hope should love to eat pussy I- too much. You wouldn't be but here. You, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, but you know what I'm hoping. What I'm hoping is mm-hmm. this, I mean, because you you're a bigger platform than me. I'm about two hundred thousand people. That's big on YouTube. No, but you're like almost 800,000. I feel like this is his opportunity now. I think this is like the last hit before like something huge. Look, you need to fix this, whether this means separation between you and your wife or you and your wife being very uh, vocal and putting on out there, you know, y'all at certain uh, impasse in mm-hmm. your marriage or whatever. I think this is an opportunity for him to just fix all of this. I mean, because don't nobody expect Pastor to be perfect. I know I don't. I know you're going to mess up. So did you, even though you didn't get caught in no scandals, did you have a scandal that was under the radar? I didn't have a scandal, and I didn't get caught in a scandal. Now, did I do some things? I did, but it ain't get out of What you do? What you do, Pastor? I ain't telling you what I did. In front of almost 20,000 folks. (laughs) You got to give us a word. You know, this Uh, is your conviction. uh, The Lord say just, just just be free. 
No, I'm free. I'm free and proud. <laughs> you about 20 years ago? No. <laughs> Somebody said WAP, worship and praise. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, so, but I think, I mean, because I was looking at it, I was looking on my page. I said, I, on YouTube, I got 82,000. On Facebook, I got 100,000 followers. So 200,000. Now he's going to 800,000. Because, you know, I don't really do the church stories and, you know, they were they was calling hard. Like, please, just please. What can you do to make this go away? I almost gave them a number. I sure did. I should have I should have gave them a number to give to the to the church to pass the collection plate to make this shit go away. But I said, nah, I got integrity. God has anointed me to do the Lord's work and yeah. expose. OK, we don't yeah. lie over here. OK, yeah. what would yeah. the trolls tell you? They know. That we don't lie over here. Larry, do we lie over here? You a pastor. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. No, not at all. But they'll make up stuff and come up with all different kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen the I see the YouTubers out there that's like killing you all the time. Trying to, and they still look, they still sitting where they at. See? You need to focus on building your own platform instead of trying to tear down. See, God don't like that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the YouTube exactly. was trying to tear me down instead of just building themselves up, you know? Yeah. And yeah. you're not yeah. going to grow like that, okay? No, you're not. You're not. No. You heard yeah. the pastor. He said what he said. Now, listen, um, so do you think this was an entanglement? Just Do you think this entanglement is worth a divorce since, you know, you know them and you've you've been but, there and, you know? Yeah. I have. You th- okay. this, is what, this is what I think. I really think that she needs to separate because he's clearly going through something. And at this point, the women that she mentored and the women that she uh, ministered to, and she's a great minister and teacher. I think they need to see her, you know, not stand behind her husband this time for the third or fourth time, but fight for her relationship at the same time, keep her dignity. Mm. She need to create space and say, look, you can't be out there. I mean, I know what happened with T.I. now. Yeah. can't. Well, you know, him and T.I. got a lot of common, like I said. Every time they cheat, they buy a car. <laughs> right. And not Shit. only that, I mean, the one, the women now, I mean, they're disrespectful. I mean, they really shouldn't be going out there. If you're a side chick, you need to keep the whole story quiet as long as he's paying his sin bill. As long as the pastor is paying his sin bill. His sin bill. Sit down and shut up. I swear to God, I love how the pastors just talk. I love it. <laughs> And, you know, my uncle, he he ain't no pastor. Like, my uncles ain't no pastor, but they sound just like y'all, but they just, you know, crackheads and drunks and shit. But they can give a hell of a sermon. Listen, that's why they love. I can give a hell of a sermon, too. Uh, yeah, you but listen, preaching for real. I, I try. I try. I try. The God, gave, God gave me work to do. And I know it ain't everybody's cup of wine, but we still yeah. drink. Um, listen, so we're going to have to, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, get on with the show, but okay. is All there right. anything else you want to add? You want to let everybody know where they can follow you? Cause I'm going to release these receipts. Okay. On my Instagram, unwind with Tasha K, um, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Larry is going to, uh, share these receipts as well. He's going to be following up on this show on his show. Larry, tell them where they can find you. Well, you can find me on YouTube and on Facebook and on Periscope. We broadcast simultaneously on all platforms. So it's Larry Reed Live, R-E-I-D, like L-A Reed, Larry Reed Live. Fun all right. Day. All right. Thank, Thank you, Larry. You so I appreciate it. And uh, listen, give my prayers to the family. And I hope the wife stands up and says, fuck it. Listen, you, you, you know, somebody else is going to eat this pussy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I right, talk. All right. All right. All right bye. Now I got to go. <laughs> Commentary. What? What? I know. You know. Normally, we don't cover uh, church topics, but today the Lord has asked us to do a job. Okay, a job. Um, does the pastor want the wife? What pastor? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Um, let me see. Let me see. Now, uh, that concludes the topics. Now, uh, please do not forget. Okay, put up the neutral birth. Okay. 
Um, don't forget to order your Nutriburst, okay? My favorite liquid multivitamin supplement, all right, has everything that you need that you don't get from food, and it, it, it will even curve your appetite, okay, so that you're not even craving food. You're going to lose a few extra pounds, all right? Um, you can find the link below in the description box as well as in the comments. I love it. I drink it three times a day in small doses, not the capful. I do like a full capful, but I do it three times a day, so I get everything that I need over the course of the day, okay? The link is below in the description box as well as in the comments. Comments! <laughs>